So before we even begin the video, you guys probably already know my answer to this question. Yes, if you can, get a gaming PC. Now there's talks about PCs, gaming PCs, what's the difference? Really, they're both computers, they both can do the same thing, but a gaming PC is called a gaming PC because it has components that give it a little more power that enable you to play video games. You can't really do that with a normal computer. Once again, I gave this analogy in my previous video, I believe. Think of a sports car and a regular car, like a Honda Civic and a Mustang. A Mustang could do the same thing that a regular car could do, but it could do it with a little more power, it could do it a little bit faster, and overall it's probably more enjoyable. Same thing with a computer. A gaming computer could do the same thing a normal computer could do, but with more capabilities, more power, and of course, it allows you to have a little more fun. But it's not just fun and games. So the main component that a gaming computer has that a regular computer doesn't have is a graphics card. The better graphics card you get, the more expensive it will be, but it'll also perform better. Now if you take a look at my computer here, the graphics card is that large white motherboard looking thing with two fans on it. It performs very well. It could play games at the highest settings, even at 1440p settings and some even at 4k. If I take that component out, it's just like a normal computer. But just that it's not going to be able to run games as good as it does with the graphics card inserted. Now so far this is just game talk. A gaming computer could play games, a regular computer can't really do it. By the way, you could buy a regular computer and just add a graphics card over time. You could totally do that and that's perfectly fine. You could basically turn a regular computer into a gaming computer, just how you could transform a normal car into a racing car with a few upgrades and stuff. So once again, it's just been gaming talk so far, but, and many people don't think about this, but a graphics card isn't just for gaming, graphics. It's called a graphics card for a reason. It helps your computer produce graphics. If you're studying engineering, graphic design, video game development, or whatever, you're a programmer and you want to develop a game, you're gonna need a graphics card in your computer, without a doubt, and a good processor too. And most of the times, gaming computers have better processors and they have good graphics cards. So you could really replace the term gaming in gaming computer with studying computer. You could do that because really a gaming computer could do everything a studying computer can and a lot more. You could game, you could do school stuff, you could program, you could do graphic design, video game development, you could do all that stuff in a gaming computer whereas with a normal computer if it doesn't have a graphics card you might struggle with a couple of those. Now if you're comparing a desktop computer with a laptop, once again they're both computers but the biggest difference and I also mentioned this in a previous video, you could upgrade a desktop computer. Once again look at the one behind me, I could just open it, swap out a part and put an another one back in whereas with a laptop I cannot do that besides the RAM and probably the storage. Other than that you can't make any changes whatsoever to it. And most people including myself generally think of gaming computers as more expensive, a lot more expensive. But really you could get a cheap gaming computer around $400, $500 around there with a decent processor and a decent graphics card. Now that's probably not going to be able to play games like Far Cry 5 at high settings or whatever, it might play it at low settings. But the beauty of it is that over time you could upgrade the graphics card, you could upgrade the processor, you could add more memory and you could turn that budget system into a high-end one over time. Actually you don't even have to buy one pre-built, you could build everything yourself if you just order the parts and probably save some money. All you need is a screwdriver. Let's actually take a look at some computers right now, see how much they cost and what they have to offer. Okay so very quickly, gaming PC. That's all you have to do. And as you can see there's a couple here, a lot of them are expensive but let's look at some that are around the $400, $500 range like this one, $549. HP Pavilion, it's by HP, you guys probably know that brand, it's very popular. It has an AMD Ryzen 3 2200G processor, an AMD RX uh, 550 graphics card, 8 gigs of RAM. So this system is actually pretty good. The processor is new, it's current, and it's a very good low budget processor. And the graphics card from what I see here, 4 gigs of RAM, it should be performing pretty well, it should actually, actually this one's pretty good. Yeah, so $550, you get a very capable budget PC. And of course you could upgrade it over time. Now this one around the same price, probably not as capable. I'm thinking they're paying more attention to the looks here. But as you can see, you could just open it, swap out a part, add another one later, and improve the performance over time once again. It has the FX 6300 processor, a little bit older, but still capable of playing some games at decent settings with the, what graphics card is it? AMD Radeon R7, 2 gig graphics card. So again, it's not going to perform as well, but you could upgrade it. And now if we look at systems under $500, this one is 475. It's from iBuyPower and it has an AMD FX 6300 once again and a GeForce GT 710. It's a 1 gig card, so if you're going to be playing games like even Fortnite, you're going to have to play them at really low settings. 
uh, because any higher than that it's gonna lag it might even crash but if you're planning on running games like csgo dota games like that this is gonna run them with no problem i have a computer without a graphics card and it runs them pretty well so now this one should be able to run them well even better than that one and once again upgradability you could upgrade them over time there's no issue there just make sure all the components are compatible with each other another thing to keep in mind is the keyboard and mouse most of these computers come with a keyboard and mouse for free included they don't come with a monitor though so you're probably gonna have to spend another 80 to 150 dollars on a monitor you can get a budget one for like 80 dollars on amazon yeah something like this a 23.8 inch monitor it looks it actually looks really good i might have to check it out a monitor is not a computer a computer is the this thing this the box a monitor is only the display that it displays what the computer sends it without a monitor you can't do anything because you can't see it's like driving with your windshield completely blacked out so just keep that in mind but for a budget system this would actually be a very good option all right back to the other camera so from the few computers that we took a look at, all of them are upgradable. You could take out whatever part you want and add another one in. To improve the performance, you could even overclock the processor, the one that's already included, and get a little more power out of your processor as long as you have proper cooling and stuff. All of that is not hard to figure out. I'm in a couple YouTube videos and I'm already building my own computer. I bought this one pre-built, but I've done many changes to it. It's pretty much a whole different computer. Actually, because I bought a computer, I got very interested in it and now I'm studying that. So should you buy a gaming computer? Absolutely. If you're trying to convince your parents to buy you one or something, show them this video. This might even convince them to buy you one. So tell me in the comment section below if you have a gaming PC, if you're planning on buying one, and what's your thought process? Are you going to buy a pre-built one? Are you planning on building one, watching YouTube videos to learn how to build one? If you're not comfortable with building one yourself, like I was when I bought this one, buy a cheap one and then you could study with that one. You could experiment, upgrade it, do whatever you want with it and then eventually you're gonna figure out how to build one. It's actually not that hard at all. So yes, you should buy a gaming PC. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.